Mike Rano. My dad, John, loved family and friends unconditionally. This love is what kept him going during some significant health challenges he faced during the last years of his life. In 2017, right after Christmas, his health took a turn for the worse, and my mom, Shirley, asked my wife, Jean, and I to come be with him. We went immediately to the hospital in northern Minnesota. After a few days in the hospital, the tough decision was made that there was nothing more that could be done, and my dad entered hospice. Wind chills and temperatures were below zero during this time, and as sick as he was, he still worried that we had enough gas in our tanks for traveling, as well as warm clothes in the trunk. He had always kept an eye on the weather, no matter where you lived, and let you know when to be careful or to make sure your car was safely in the garage so there'd be no hail damage. My dad was adamant that he wanted to be in his own home for his last few days and not the hospital. So arrangements were made to bring him home. We were blessed to have my sister, Karen, who is a nurse, helping and teaching us what we needed to know to be able to take care of him at home along with the hospice team. He arrived by ambulance on a Wednesday afternoon, January 3rd, with my mom taking, mom taking the trip in the ambulance with him. He was greeted by his, greeted by his black lab, Nikki, as we settled him in the hospital bed in the living room. We took turns by my dad's bedside. That night, he and I watched car shows quietly on TV while I held his hand all night. Even though he wasn't talking at all at this point, it seemed to settle his breathing. The next morning, we were expecting Pastor Kurt to stop by for a time of scripture and communion. He came a few minutes early and joined us for breakfast. Afterwards, Karen, my mom, Jean, Pastor Kurt, and I gathered around this hospital bed in the living room. Pastor Kurt shared scripture and prayer with us, and then we all had communion. He suggested then that we sing Jesus Loves Me to end our time together. Literally, all four of us rolled our eyes at the same time, but we agreed we would join him in singing this song. We started Jesus Loves Me, This I Know, and remembering all the words from this childhood song. As we finish the last line of the song, Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. My dad took his last breath, listening to the words from us, his earthly family, that God, his heavenly Father, loved him unconditionally.